I'm sorry. I, I had I had this we said to start the show off with my James Harden <laughs> <on> beard. <laughs> Welcome back, his friend that back with Aladdin and Deja Perez. Oh man. Uh the King, King James, he does it again. Deja, trolling yes. going right or trolling going wrong? Mm, we'll find out. We will definitely find out. And who is helping change the narrative for HBCUs? Find that out or run that back. You know what time it is. Run it! Oh, it's time to have some fun. Run that back. Uh, listen, so much to get into. I still love my James Harden thing. Like this is uh, this is a run that back exclusive. Like this is how we <laughs> start off the show. I'm just feeling so luxury, <laughs> feeling luxurious, like my James Harden beard. No, but uh, let's get into it. The Paul brothers trolling going right or trolling going wrong. I don't have a lot of words for it. I mean, I know Logan Paul is set to take on Floyd Mayweather in February. Mm -hmm. And of course, Jake Paul has Jake been going Paul. heavy and strong for Conor McGregor. It's like a $50 million fight. Like, I got the receipts. I got the contract. Conor just signed on the dotted line. YouTubers who have made their way into the boxing arena. I mean, and we're talking about guys that have been working at this for years. And they right. start trolling. And they go straight to the top. Has and the interesting thing too is that it's crazy because you know Conor McGregor is not a boxer by right trade trade sport whatever you know he's UFC all day every day. So even when he took on Floyd Mayweather, mm -hmm. you know even when he took on Floyd Mayweather, everyone was like, eh, "It's not really your sport." But I mean, there's clearly a lot of similarities. But it's not your, boxing is not your sport. It's a very separate sport, right? right. So. It happened. It didn't go in Connor's favor, but it is what it is, right? So now for Logan Paul to be like, or, you know, Jake Paul to be like, yeah, 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 come on, Connor McGregor. Like, I mean, you really reaching high up this tree because at the end of the day, Connor McGregor was fierce in the octagon. Like, please be clear. But I mean, that's what he does. He knocks people out in the octagon. So, Correct. you know, going against somebody that's, you know, not as skilled, even in the boxing ring. I don't think it's going to end well for you. I mean, I think they're reaching really high. Like, and I, you know, I can't even be mad at their hustle because they're like, you know what? Like, go hard or go home. Well, it's work. And that's what, so can we say trolling going right? Because literally, uh, Logan Paul just released a YouTube video showing how he got the fight with. Floyd Mayweather, he literally went on, a, he said he used to, he practiced at Floyd's gym and then, you know, he started trolling him. He went to like, they have like these virtual press conferences where you get to have a one-on-one -on -one moment and he started talking trash to Floyd. He recorded the whole thing and now he, you know, just keep taking shots, taking shots. He's like, his whole goal was to just try to get a fight with Floyd and it worked. And it worked. I mean, it it worked. Big payday. Major about to get knocked out. But, bro, if you get knocked out by Floyd Mayweather, <laughs> that's not even an L. You know it's what I mean? Because you're actually, it's not an L because you're expected to get knocked out by Floyd Mayweather. That's so part of the course. So is this trolling going right? I think, sadly, it is. Wow. I know. Oh, man. The day of the internet. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well... You know, one guy that's definitely uh, all talk and all action, King James. He does it again. So LeBron James stays putting on for his city. He loves yeah. him some Akron. He loves him some Ohio. His foundation just announced uh, they're planning to create a 60 square foot venue uh, called House 330, which is actually an ode to the zip code of Ohio or Akron. And mm -hmm. they're planning to offer financial literacy, job training, as well as recreational areas. And it's going to be a place where families can grow and learn. And they're hoping to get everything up and running by 2022. Wow. Huge. And this is separate of his I Promise school. Like, the, right. the amount of give back that LeBron has is unmatched, honestly. Is he better on the court or off the court? 
It's hard to tell. That's the crazy part. He excels I mean, in everything. I mean, when I say deserves to have the name King, like it, it just can't do anything but bow, bow down to that guy. You're you not know, worthy. Just, just does amazing things. And another mm -hmm. guy that decides to do amazing things and give back and starts to change the narrative for HBCUs, Michael B. Jordan. Yeah, so he just announced that he's launching his Hoop Dreams Classic, which is actually an HBCU basketball showcase. It's going to take place next December in his hometown of Newark, New Jersey. What up, Brick City? That's my home <laughs> city. Not Newark, but Jersey is. So, you know, I'm very proudful. Nice, nice. Well, uh, him and your favorite part of the sexiest man last you just seen on the uh, screen is uh, his beard. You think the beard will be in him? <laughs> the, it's the porn star mustache. It's not a beard. It's a goatee. Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Mustache. It's the, the, the goatee yeah, yeah. and the porn star mustache. It, it, you, you, you there for it? You no. in attendance? No. no. Not here for it. There to support the, the hoop classic? No. Well, listen, it's I'll be there. You if, listen. if it's not a hard <laughs> beard, not a hard beard, I'm not no, with no. it. Not with it. Got to go. Well, um, you know, another guy that is changing the narrative for HBCUs in a major way. My guy, primetime Deion Sanders. It was just announced that his son, Shiloh Sanders, who's a five-star recruit, will be transferring to Jackson State University to play for his father. Which is so huge because his other son, Shador, already goes there. So now yeah. he has both sons. And yeah. him teaching at the, uh, coaching at the HBCU in and of itself mm -hmm. is amazing. Him having his two amazeball sons join him. I mean, it's that's like a every proud papa, former NFL players dream come true. Yeah, facts. I mean, on top of, you know, the fact that he he being a Hall of Famer, you know, coming and changing how recruits will now start going to these HBCUs Agreed. is major. And it's funny because Al and I were talking about this the other day. I have like a, not a love-hate relationship with you have, to, you have to explain to people but oh, you, you hated Dion. So hate is a strong word and I don't mean okay, that. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But right, right. basically it's like a push and pull because when I was coming up, like to be fair, right. When Dion broke the mold, he created the mold and broke the mold for cornerbacks. Right. Absolutely. So initially without, and this is before the days of social media. Right. So this is just, all you see is Dion's arrogant and he's here and he's flashy and this, and uh, must be the money. Remember he did that video. Like, yeah, absolutely. It was a lot, yeah. Yeah. It was a lot going oh, on. Okay. Yeah. Doing exactly. Everything. But <laughs> just not not being as involved in football back then, it, it came off really arrogant, right? But mm. in fairness, I I did, you know, I, I'm a, a student of everything, right? So I watched the um 30 on 30 on Deion Sanders because he's really fascinating to me, right? And so right. when I watched the 30 on 30 about him, I was like, oh. Okay, so Dion, like, first of all, he's a hundred percent that guy. Um, oh, he I played for the Braves, like he played baseball, hopped a plane, went and played an NFL game. Nobody's done that, you know what I mean? It's unheard yeah, of. He, he was one of the first. He was definitely one of the he first. He earned it, and he worked really hard. And I understood that gave me a new appreciation for him and understanding that prior to Dion Sanders, people weren't checking for cornerbacks. At all. You know what I mean? So yeah. he was the one that made that position sexy. He was the one that made people recognize, like, there's more to this position. We can be flashy. We can be this. But we can also be vicious on the field as well. Absolutely. And speaking of hard work, I mean, he was one of the only guys to be in the playoffs for the NFL and playing the World Series at the, at same, the same time. Damn time. At the same time unheard of and it's his I feel like his work ethic and his drive and his athleticism is almost unmatched and I have nothing but the utmost respect for Deion Sanders obviously my push and pull relationship was the young Deja Perez when I didn't know as much about football and didn't know as much about what went into his story it was really just what the media portrayed him and the media can be really nasty you know what I mean and, and if they get an inkling that you're arrogant or you're this that's kind of how they portray you and that's I think what happened to Dion a lot of the times hey listen Dion didn't care because Dion went and got them rings you hear me baby championship hall of famer and you know what's great is that he's bringing his Hall of Fame friends, the coach at Jackson State, with them. Warren Sapp, Terrell Owens, and there's a couple of other people. 
I really, really look forward to how this is going to change, you know, how things are going to happen for HBCUs. And I'm excited to see what happens with the Jackson State program. So big salute to primetime. I know it's going to be amazing. And just in general, like the fact that we're putting on for our HBCUs and we're Mm -hmm. uh, putting it to a space where, yes, you could go to, you know, these D1 schools and stuff, but you have even the same, if not better talent at HBCUs and a level the playing field. I'm so here for all of this. Thank you, Deion Sanders, for that. Can't wait to see how it shapes up. But uh, yeah, we gonna get up out of here. I'm gonna take my James Harden bid to Jackson State University to watch a game. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. We'll run that back. Until then, run it. <laughs>